Welcome to Prague. I'm Lauren from It's the Kellys and today's video is all about the top 10 things to do in Prague and guess what? We did them in 48 hours. Let's get ready for the opera. Ready to go to the opera. We are going to go see Carmen tonight at the National Theater. It was such a fun night seeing Carmen. We had box seats for just 45 euros each and we got to enjoy one of the most beautiful theaters I've seen. Beautiful views, for Very sure. Good. Definitely worth it. It really gives you a cool perspective of the town square down below. Absolutely. It gives you a 360 degree view of the city as well. It's very pretty. I really love being up here and seeing everywhere that we've already been yesterday and today. You have to get a ticket no matter what, but then you can pay extra to take the elevator. But I opted to walk down instead. Prague's history lies not only in its old town streets, but below ground. This tour lets you in on the secret world with a guide to share all of the stories, and it is not accessible without the guide. You can see subterranean rooms from the 12th to 14th century and hear about dungeons, executions, and uncover stories about the medieval city. You can also learn all about its architecture, floods, the plague, and things like that. And then look at this cool bookcase that opens up to a secret room. I mean, that's fun. If you're enjoying this video or this video is helping you plan your next trip to Prague, please subscribe down below and also like this video. So one thing that got recommended to us a bunch of times as the number one thing to do in Prague is to go see the sunrise on Charles Bridge. And the only unfortunate part of that is that the sunrise is at 445 this morning. So we are up bright and early, but I'm excited. Charles Bridge is one of Prague's most famous attractions, and it's located right in the middle of a city known for its Gothic and Baroque architecture. It's the oldest bridge over the river, and there's 30 gorgeous statues on it that form two rows, one on each side of the bridge.
Malastrana is also known as Lesser Town. It's a hillside area with views across the river to the old town. It is absolutely adorable walking through these streets after you cross Charles Bridge. And they have a lot of nice restaurants and traditional pubs in its narrow streets. You can also go visit the John Lennon Wall. You can also go see peacocks that roam freely at the Wallenstein Garden. Well, getting to Proud Castle is uphill, so pack your stamina, and maybe some water. Maybe get some gelato on the way. Check out the view at the top of the hill. It was worth the effort. The castle now opens at 6 a.m., so it's the perfect thing to do after sunrise. to go into the cathedral but it doesn't open until 9 and right now it's only 7 a.m. so maybe we'll get lucky and come back up here but we have a lot of other things planned today so. But it was really cool on the outside. The outside was amazing. I can't even imagine what it looks like on the inside. We're on our way to another castle, a mighty steep incline. Thanks, Lauren. I can't help it that castles are built on hills <laughs> and castles are must-sees in Prague, okay? So this one's about a 20 minute tram ride from Old Town and it's a little bit more lesser known, but they do have an amazing Gothic cathedral and a really cool graveyard and some casemates, as well as a lot of other stuff. The coolest things to see there are definitely the cathedral and the cemetery as well as the casemates. And deep inside the casemates hold original statues that were on the Charles Bridge before the statues that now stand there today. Soak and drink in a beer spa? Okay, this definitely seems like it's just a reason to drink a lot of beer, but there's actually a lot of good wellness that comes with it. The vitamins and enzymes naturally present in the yeast and help regenerate your skin and remove the harmful substances from your body and ease fatigue and stress in the most relaxing way possible. And then of course you get unlimited beer while you're in there as well. Although I do have to tell you, we wore our swimsuits simply so that we could not be naked in this video and our swimsuits still smell over a month later. So I definitely wouldn't wear any clothes if I were you. The castles and stuff, they're all gonna be there. But when are you gonna get to take a bath of beer and have unlimited beer? And then 
laying some straw. I don't know how comfortable that's gonna be, but I don't really care right now because I got a good buzz going on. You want a straw bed forever? No, but I it's like it. It's comfy. I like it when I drink six beers in 25 minutes though. It's pretty comfortable. It's just fine. I'm sober. I don't like beer. Go on a river cruise. This was one of our favorite river cruises on the whole trip because you get to see very picturesque, beautiful buildings the entire time. I definitely recommended when you go to Prague.